Welcome to Rationality, Reason, and Reality. I'm Supernova. Today I'm going to discuss one more formal fallacy, and it's very closely related to the fallacies of illicit major and illicit minor. So if you don't know what those fallacies are, you haven't heard those terms, I would suggest that you go watch that video that I made first. This one is called the fallacy of the undistributed middle, and it goes like this. Premise 1. All C are M. Premise 2. All D are M. Conclusion, therefore, all C are D. The example that I'd like to use is premise 1. All cats are mammals. True. Premise 2. All dogs are mammals. True. Conclusion, therefore, all cats are dogs. False. If these premises are true and they don't necessarily lead to a true conclusion, then we've got a problem in the form. We've got a fallacy here, and it's it's in not distributing these minor terms, cats and dogs, until the conclusion. We don't know exactly where they go in the major term. We could have, as the, the conclusion suggests, all cats being part of all dogs, which are part of all mammals, or we could have all dogs at being in the group of all cats, being in a group of all mammals, which also isn't true, or the actual true conclusion that all cats and dogs are mammals, but they are mutually exclusive groups, they're not inside of each other. So the undistributed middle happens when you're trying to define a larger group and you do it by uh, pointing out all these different traits of the group that don't necessarily overlap but you suggest that they do overlap in some way. And the reason that this is important for atheists to know is because almost all Christian arguments, dare I say all of them, imply this fallacy. If you ever have somebody debating the existence of God and they list off through a gish gallop, they just go through all the, the list of, of arguments for God found in your your typical uh, Wikipedia page of arguments for God or your typical philosophy of religion class, they are undoubtedly committing this fallacy. Or even if you have somebody like William Lane Craig who, who restricts himself to just two or three arguments arguing for a uh, fine tuner and a moral lawgiver and a first cause, he's committing this fallacy. If, if they were to put all of these arguments together into one argument, it would go something like the fine tuner is a god, the first cause is a god, the moral lawgiver is a god, therefore they are all the same god. That's committing the fallacy of undistributed middle. It, it isn't necessarily true that they are all overlapping. Even if even if each argument was true, you still wouldn't be pointing to one God. They often do this through loaded terms, too. They use words like fine-tuner instead of fine-tuners, because it, it's, of course, possible for such a thing. When people talk about moral lawgiver, uh, it could be moral lawgivers. Atheists like myself believe that the people who wrote the Bible, who authored it, were the ones who made up all these morals and all these commandments of God but not God himself. So in that case, there would be several moral lawgivers, all the authors of the Bible. That's, of course, possible, even if you accept that moral laws have to be given by a giver. That giver could be a group of people who all work together, who collaborated. Even uh, a first cause. You know, when we talk about causes, we're talking about uh, the 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 origin, the originator, and it could be several people. Why not? The the classic example of a of a uh, efficient cause is a sculptor who makes a sculpture, and we have cases where there are more than one sculptor working on a piece of art. People can collaborate on art. It, it's entirely possible for that material cause to be made up of more than one being, and so. Whenever you see Christian arguments, they, they almost always make this fallacy, and nobody ever calls them out on it. But I hope you will, now that you are aware of this fallacy. You'll probably see it everywhere. 
anyway, I, I hope that was enlightening and uh, tune in to more of my videos and subscribe if you like this one. Of course, feel free to comment below. Peace.